Okay, one more session. I did do some remapping. I um, moved the home and end keys. I swapped those with left and right. So left and right are now in the thumb positions. And same with up and down. I switched page up and page down with up and down. So up and down are now in the thumbs. Hopefully that helps. I just found that super awkward. I also remapped left function key to be command. So, oh, actually, I want that to be control. Never mind. Let's uh, remap it right now. You get to see the Kinesis software. Let's turn that into modifier. We want that to be control. Left control. I could make a command also, you know. Um, which one would be better? Let's see. Control tab, control Q. Mm, I'll leave it. I'll leave it left control for now. So save it. Okay. Exit. Yes. Save the profile. Okay, unmount the drive, the virtual drive. Okay, we should be good to go. All right, I only have 30 minutes, so let's get going. See if this works better. <laughs> Apparently, you can see me remapping the keys in action. All right, how's those arrows? Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't think the remapping went through. All right, let's try this one more time. This may be less of a typing lesson and more of a, a remapping. Okay, configure. Uh-oh. All right, you get to see how I do it. Home, and fortunately I just went through this, so I know how to do it. Okay, and on the right. Oh, whoops. I messed that up. It should be left and right. I thought about making them up and down. I'm not sure which one's better. I'll try it. And I have physical keycaps for Dvorak, so I can... I also have a keycap puller right here. Page up. Page down. So this is one thing I've noticed. Sometimes the changes don't seem to take place. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I have to do? I think I saved it. All right, let's see again. Okay, that seemed to take this time. Great. Let me try unmounting the drive. Yeah, all right. Now let's just see, does, does this work? that works cool oh nice
Oops. Whoops. Hmm. Okay. All right. The remapping seemed to have taken. Can you tell when I'm typing uh, without looking? With my eyes closed? Yeah. All right, those arrow keys are more tolerable, I think.
Wow. So basically two mistakes in that sentence with my eyes closed. All right, well, that's pretty good. One reason I think it was good was I made a mistake, and I wasn't looking at the screen, but I knew I had typed with the wrong hand, and I knew to correct it. So that's part of it is getting to the point where if I make a mistake, I I know it without without looking at the screen. Um, Okay, I am feeling a little uncomfortable. I'm going to change position in my chair and take a swig. I probably, probably should have taken a, a longer break between the sessions, but I've got a meeting coming up, and so that's uh, as long as I could take. So... <clears throat> All right, let's try to get set up again. Okay, so I can type sentences now with high accuracy without looking. And I can start telling when I'm making a mistake. Closing my eyes does help. Okay, this time I'm going to look. I'm going to look at the wall above the screen, uh, but I'm not going to look at the text I'm typing. So I'm going to keep my eyes open. I want to get used to keeping my eyes open, but see if I can do it without looking at the screen and, and that distraction. Then I'll work up work up to it. So successive iteration and incremental refinement and all that. Iterative refinement. Oops. I'm not looking at the screen, but I knew I hit two keys. Wrong. 
wrong word. <laughs> it's not a typing error. This is a word error. I think I'm doing pretty well. Now I'm looking. This time I'm going to keep my eyes closed while typing. Okay, so I had... I mean, I did make a mistake uh, where I hit two keys at once, but in a sense, I'm not counting that because I knew it without looking and I was able to correct it. Uh, but that one, I, d I didn't know that I held the shift down for both. Okay. All right, shake out my my hands. Oops. Oh, no, I got it right. Oh, I didn't even look in my right hand. I wasn't on the home row, and I hit the S in the right way. All right, I'm starting to get to know my way around. I'm still slow. I'm still slow, but I'll take high accuracy right now. I think I'll get fast. As uh, as I know where the keys are, like for, certainly for StarCraft, the rule is your actions per minute or APM improves from knowing what it is you need to do and ha improving your mechanics. You know, so if you know what it is you have to do, and you you have uh, good mechanics, then your APM will improve over time. You don't have to explicitly practice improving APM. Although I've also wondered if like if I just focused on APM, you know, could I get to the point where it's like, well, I have all this excess APM, I need to know where to allocate it. And I don't know, maybe you could do it that way. But I think, uh, I was actually thinking today, maybe the opposite. Maybe I should play StarCraft where I try to have the lowest APM possible and I'm still able to execute the strategies I want and the tactics I want. Um, and, you know, every single... It action has to has to count. So that's sort of how I'm doing it right now. All right. Uh, okay, I could definitely feel that I've been typing for a little bit, um, partly just with the sitting in the chair. So, but I think I can finish it up. All right. All right. So this time I'm going to look at the screen. I'm not looking at my fingers, just looking at the screen. I didn't notice. I had to see that I made the mistake there. Um, Whoops, it's two mistakes. Okay, so that was six mistakes. And it, the interesting thing to me was I can see mis the mistakes, obviously, because I'm looking at the screen. However, uh, the mistakes were kind of surprising to me, whereas the previous time when I was typing, not looking at the screen, um, I knew when I made a mistake. I didn't have to look 
to tell I made a mistake and I could correct the mistake without looking. I find that really interesting. This time when I type a mistake, I'm like, whoa, why did that appear on the screen? So maybe it's just a reaction time. Maybe, uh, maybe I would have known I had made a mistake if I had had a few more milliseconds to process it. My visual processing was faster. I don't know. Uh, but I made quite a few mistakes. I made like six mistakes that sentence. All right, let me try it again. <clears throat> One. <clears throat> Shorter sentence. Whoops. All right, that was... <laughs> All right, I was fine until the end. And then I fell apart, maybe because I knew it was at the end. Whoops. Okay. <clears throat> Not looking at the keyboard, not, not looking at the keyboard at all. Whips. That's one. Whoa, that's at least two. Nope, that's a five minute warning. Okay. All right, so I was trying to do a shift there and I think I hit my left control now. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So I mapped function to left control, whoa, tab. Um, I keep hitting that left control key when I mean to hit shift and to the extent where I'm thinking maybe I should just map left control to shift. Although that doesn't seem super ergonomic, but I've, I'm really finding these uh, modifier keys, left function, shift, escape, and tab from lower to higher on the left. I find these quite awkward. Uh, and they're, they are not, they're like staggered with respect to uh, the other keys. So it's like really hard for me to tell which is which. While typing, I get those wrong all the time. Uh, I even thought about just removing, like moving the shift key down and removing the function key so that I can just tell there's a big space there. I might end up doing that because it's so awkward. Actually, let me just go ahead and do that and try it. <clears throat> I think we have time to do that. 
Okay, scan for V drive. Come on. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I, I map the left function to control. I'm just gonna remove that keycap entirely. I don't think I need it anyway. Ah, keycap is removed. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna remove the shift and move it down one. So now there's just a there's a gap. The other thing I could do is just leave the shift where it is. Yeah, let me try that. The gap feels a little awkward. But if I just have the shift and no key below it, I can also, the other thing is I could um, map them both to shift. Yeah, okay, that's what I think I'll do. This is a little silly and a little sloppy, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna map this one to shift as well. So as modifier, is shift to modifier. Left shift. Okay, so I now have two left shifts on my keyboard. Because I'm a noob and I can't tell them apart with my fingers. All right. Well, there we go. Quit. Save it. Yes. Okay, let's take a look at it again. Let me unmap. Unmount my virtual drive thingy. and Remount it. Let's see. Did it work? Uh, it did not. Save. For whatever reason, sometimes this just doesn't seem to save. Unmount the V drive, remount the V drive. Still didn't take. Okay, I don't know why. Let's try it again. And try it without re unmounting my V drive. Okay, seems okay there. <clears throat> Unmount my V-Drive. Remount my V-Drive. All right, seem to take. Probably something with the V-Drive mounting and unmounting is my guess, something about the order of it. All right, time for a call. Anyway, well, I'll try that. So I have two left shifts now. So I shouldn't be able to get into trouble. Um, and I'll try that in the future. All right. Thank you. Talk to you soon.